Hi, this is Kelly Borsheim. Let's varnish a painting today, an oil painting of a figure with the help of Jeannie Ray, wonderful artist. And here I am removing the back canvas of Relinquish because I'm going to fix a little varnish problem I have up here. <laughs> so that's what the project is today. I'm kind of inclined to try the spray because the brush yeah. on it did at my brother's, and if you don't get it fast, it's it, sticky. It's and this happened because the painting went in too soon to the frame with varnish, so it pulled off. The varnish stuck to the frame is what the problem is. You can see the transparency. That's got to be varnish, not paint. Yeah, and because uh, the painting is underneath it, fine. And then this is the problem we're trying to fix. So this is definitely a problem with the varnish and not with the painting. But the trick is how to fix it without destroying the paint underneath because mineral spirits will thin the oil paint just as well. You can see there's some sort of the roll happened and then it's just, oh, you can't see with the glare. It went right in the right spot. But how am I going to show that? Oh, wait, there you can see it. Consent, the lines. It's like something rolled and ever had a bump in the road, <laughs> like a thing on your tire or something. That's kind of a silly explanation. But this is my painting, Relinquish, and I love it. Okay, yeah, that sees the whole painting. Okay, so... Hi, this is Kelly. My friend Jeannie and I are going to go, um, try to remove the varnish uh, enough here on the edges and then we're going to try to add varnish because there's some problems with the... Um, there's something that happened that stuck to the varnish and it made these little texture marks that are no good. So we want to try to salvage this painting. Thanks for watching. Comment, subscribe, like the video and share YouTube. Subscribe to the channel and hit the bell for notifications. Now I'll stop the PR and we'll get to doing the varnish on the painting. So, we're going to do each of these corners. The varnish ended up sticking to the frame. And to be honest, I don't remember how much time I gave it before I took the painting to the framer to have this uh, frame put on it. But we're just going to try rubbing off the little part that showed beyond the frame. Because the idea, we decided on this, instead of trying to remove it and give a whole new coat of varnish, we're going to try to see what happens when we put varnish on if it will actually fill in all these little holes and then we have more varnish which actually protects the painting more. It's a theory. And hopefully one that works. Right now this is a uh, Gamblin Gamsol um, pure mineral spirits because we want to do a subtle thing but of course we don't want to remove the paint so this is a conservatives kind of work and then we'll let, this is sort of our test also for the process. What kind of cloths are these? They're quite soft. Cotton, okay, so it's a clean cotton t-shirt that just cut into pieces. Here's the painting, and I'll lower it slowly in case you can see some of the marks from the varnish. So we're going to go do something else and let this dry for a bit. Keep watching, I'll add the next video to this afterwards. See what I'm showing? Now watch when I turn it off the record. Okay, so Jeannie has the golden um, varnish with the archival varnish that is satin finish. And she's going to spray it onto this corner to see how it reacts with the painting. And I have Liquitex Solivar Matte Varnish. I kind of like the idea of matte or even the satin because I don't like the glossy on stuff. Um, but anyway, I'm going to test it on this corner. And I see I've got some of this here. And this is a solid color paint, although to be honest, I don't know how to get that color again. It's a root beer. It's um, 
Asphaltum, such a romantic name, but I call it root beer. But I think that's what I used here. It looks a little warmer than that. But anyway, we're going to test, do a spray test on this. Now, usually when you use an aerosol can, to not block this up, especially when you have gunky stuff inside, once you finish spraying, you've got to turn it upside down and let the aerosol push out the material so that it works the next time. So we'll spray a little bit on the corner area, and I may do a little here to see if it fills in, because that's what I want to know, if it's going to fill in varnish with this. And um, we'll turn it upside down and spray. Uh, Maybe try to minimize just filling the room up with stinky stuff. All right, so let's go to it. We've been shaking up the whole time while we were chatting and and stuff, so now we have good shaking up varnish. I see some spitting happen there. Okay. I'm kind of just, well, I wonder if I made that too liquidy there. Okay, so now I'm going to turn it upside down. I tend to spray a little extra on the painting. But then Jeannie says, come over here to the garbage. And you, all you really need to do is, sometimes you see the color go away, but whew, that is stinky. So we finished another segment. We're going to go work on some flower painting, and we'll be back to check to see what the result is for this. Uh, I'm going to go photograph the... So Jeannie's using the Liquitex, it's a spray varnish with a matte finish, and she's been crisscrossing the directions of her strokes so that you make sure every part of the canvas is covered. And it's really amazing because it's filling in the varnish that had some sort of... And this is my painting Relinquish. and. I painted it years ago, but to be fair, many years ago I saw that it had, it looked like some plastic wrap or something had stuck into the painting, and I couldn't sell it, and I couldn't show it because of the damage, and since it was at my brother Steve's house in North Carolina, um, and I was in Italy and wasn't able to do anything with it, oh, and finally I'm getting to do something with it. Oh, see here, you can see a little bit of the texture, maybe. Maybe I need to raise that up. Oops. So it's sticky now, but when it dries, and surprisingly it doesn't take that long to dry, I'm trying to move the reflection around to see, but um, it's, it's really amazing what it's doing because it doesn't take as long as the paint on varnish to do stuff, and, that's, and it doesn't collect as much dirt, it seems, as the other one. So anyway, it's nice to salvage a painting, and soon this will be on the market.